Hello, student. Uh, this is Dr. John Chung. Okay, I'm gonna thank you. Okay, uh, for your uh, interest in the books. Okay, original SAT books and uh, digital SAT book. Okay. So today I'm gonna answer some questions that you have asked me before. Okay. So now let's start this one. The first question is. Uh, can you please make a video for tip 27, question number two in this book? Okay. Yeah, here is uh, number two questions here. So we're gonna try this one, okay? Right. It looks like a little, bit, a little bit complicated question. Okay. In five years, the ratio of Julie's age and Song's age will be a three to five, okay? So this is Julie and the Song's in five years. There is some now, okay, current age. Okay. And the five years, they're going to be a 3 to 5, so we can define their age, 3K, and 5K, right, using some letter K, okay? So anyway, we're going to decide the value of K, right? In 10 years, another 5 years, in terms of K, it must be 3K plus 5, but the other guys, 5K plus 5. The ratio will be 2 to 3, right? Here you go. But this, can you find the sum of their current age over here? Uh, current age. We're going to add these two ages. That's the answer, okay? So cross multiplication 2 times 5, okay? 10k plus 10 and 9k plus 15. So k equals 5, right? So their age is in 5 years, 15 years old. Song is uh, 25 years old. Okay, so 5 years ago, that is uh, 10 years old. 25 minus 5 is 20 years old, okay? The sum of these two current A's is about 30 years, okay? 30 is the answer. Here is the next question. Number 19, the error triangle should be 50, okay? Here is, here is the 19 there. This one, okay? So AD is 10, BC is 25, the value of a sign, BCD is 0.6. Okay. Okay, let me check. That's, yeah, that is a good size. Okay, yeah, this is better. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna find the area of the triangle BCD, this one, right? Where is the base? Yeah, this is the base. Where is the height? This is the height, okay? So we're going to find the right base and height using these trig functions, okay? The sine BC, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, H over 25, that is a sine BC equals 0. 0.6. H equals 15, right? The height of the triangle is 15. This is 15, this is 25, this is all the way down. That is 20, right? 3, 4, and 5, right? Right triangle triplet. So this side, 10, take off this 10 from 20, that is a 10, right? This is the base. So base times height is 15, right? This is not height. This is, we said, the slant height, okay? This is the altitude, actually, right? perpendicular to the base, okay? That's the height. And divided by 2 is 75, okay? Not 50, okay? 75 is correct. All right, the next one is, uh, they are asking the value of uh, x minus 1, not x, okay? I did solve for x. Okay, so anyway, if you got the 7, uh, the asking you over here, 6 is the answer, right, if your answer is correct. And anyway, we're going to solve this one. Maybe common denominator is 2x minus 1, right, so 2x minus 1. The first time is times 2 there, second one is about 1 there, that is equals to 1 fourth. Okay, cross multiplication, that is a 3, right? So 2x minus 1 equals 12 divided by 2. It's going to be 6. We already got over here, okay? X minus 1. X minus 1 equals 6. Yeah, 6 is the answer, okay? Maybe you confused, right? They are not asking the value of X. They are asking the value of this X minus 1, okay? Okay, here we go. 195 over 6 is 32.5. Yeah, that's the answer. Mm. Okay. Okay, anyway, we're going to try this one, okay? Uh, we have parallel line and a transverse, okay? 
So we have two angles in the same side in t e r i angles. Some of these angles is 180. We already know that, right? Or maybe you can move this one over here, right? 4x plus 10. That is the alternate in t e r i angle. Also, what? These two angles are linear pair, right? The linear pair means what? These two angles are supplementary. Right? That means some of these angles is 180, okay? So 4x plus 2x is 6x. 10 per minus 15 is negative 15 equals to 180, okay? So 6x equals 195, that's correct. Yeah, x equals 32.5, okay? Your answer is correct, okay? Okay, the next one over here. Where can I get this book? Hmm. Okay, maybe uh, uh, I can show you, right? You can go right Amazon.com. This is available on Amazon.com, okay? Or UK, J, Japan site, okay? You can go any Amazon, okay? Or maybe you can go my website. I'm going to use my website. Oops, I'm sorry. This is my website, okay? DrJohnTestPrep.com. Uh, they have some pictures of you. You can go via right, uh, digital SAT over here, okay? You can click or original SAT here, right? This is original SAT. You can go directly over here, okay? And also, if you go digital, okay, you can click this one. This is redirected into uh, to Amazon.com, okay? All right. That's it. Okay, the next one is question number two is wrong. Okay, let me check it out. Where is the number uh, number two, right? Yeah, number two. Okay, we can try it. number two. Okay, the answer is just 60 hours. We're gonna check it out. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with that. Okay, Raymond and the peers can paint a house in 20 hours when they work together, okay? The Raymond work twice fast. Fast is what? Half of time. And slow is what? Double, right? So I'm going to write down over here, Raymond and the peers, the time taken over here. Fast, the peer take away 2x, Raymond take only x hours, okay? Yeah, that is half of that. That is faster, right? How long would it take Peter to paint the house? He works a l o n g We're going to find, okay, over here, Peter over here, 2x. So we're going to find the rate over here, right? Rate is what? The fraction of a job can be done per hour, okay? It's going to be, it's reciprocal always, okay? 1 over x and 2x. So R and the paint, they work, it takes 20 hours. The rate is what? 1 over 20, right? The rate of these two, the right? sum of this rate must be equal to 1 over 20, isn't it? Okay, how to solve this one? Okay, 1 over x is what? 2 over 2x. Another 1 over 2x is plus 1. Okay, that is equal to 1 over 20, right? So this is 3. Cross multiplication, 2x equals 60. x equals 30, right? So Raymond takes 30 hours. Peter takes what? Twice over this, okay? 60 hours. Yeah, 60 hours is correct, okay? Nothing wrong with the answer, okay? Okay, that's all. Okay, all right. Thanks for joining the video. Okay, I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, you let me know. Okay, you can put in the comment. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, I'm on note by the video. Okay, thanks so much.